Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We sincerely hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, why do cats change the shape of their eyes? It's a classic look, really. Cat's eyes. Vertical pupils with those signature slits. I'm not sure if it's a common thing of today, but when I was a child, I would go to my local toy stores and look for the cat's eye marbles. I never really bought too many. I just wanted to check them out. Even to this day, many, many moons later, I think of those marbles whenever I see pictures of cats. I think for many people, even if they know absolutely nothing about cats, they know that look. Those slit eyes, as they are often referred to. Well, today we'll talk about this look, the purpose it serves, and why the pupils of a feline are so different from our very own. Cats are fully equipped with everything they need, and vision is certainly no exception. They can see in the daylight without issue and they can roam at night in the darkest of conditions while still being able to focus in on anything they want, almost like built-in high-quality night vision. The eyes of a domestic feline, the pupils to be specific, operate like a shutter or a curtain, from a narrow slit during the daylight and extremely bright conditions to an almond-shaped and almost circular pupil when conditions are dim or cloaked in complete darkness. A cat's pupils can contract and dilate by roughly 135 to 300 fold. That is quite a change in total area. This is the luxury of having vertical pupils. And by comparison, humans only have a 15 fold change from a baseline range to full dilation. For a cat to work its magic, especially when in stalking and hunting mode, it's really all about finesse. Cats have total light control almost like a pitcher in baseball with that pinpoint control of the fastball. Cats know how much light they do or do not need for any given moment and during any given task, and they adjust accordingly. Because domestic felines reside low to the ground even when standing, they need pinpoint vision control and clarity. Vertical pupils give cats everything they need from this standpoint. Cats are largely sneak attack predators, ambush predators. They need to be able to pounce and judge distances properly. Felines are able to focus in on a single target while essentially blocking out the rest of their vision field. They can accomplish this in a variety of ways, depending on the lighting that is present. This is where that 135 to 300 fold comes into play. Here are some examples. Let's start with nighttime conditions and the use of an expanded or almond pupil. Imagine looking into a dark area and having the ability to focus in on one specific object while making the rest of your vision field a bit blurry. The item is now in full focus and no longer compromised in any way by its surroundings. This is how cats are able to effectively hunt at night and in those early morning hours. Whereas we would simply take in the entire picture of one dark area and it probably wouldn't look that good or be that easy to focus in on, felines are able to judge distances and maintain focus on a target while blurring out everything else in an effort to enhance the primary focal point. This is similar to a wide open lens on a camera. Cats need this broad horizontal viewing ability simply due to the fact they're so low to the ground. When it comes to the classic cat's eye, the tiny pupil and signature vertical slit, this is the most pronounced 
during strong light conditions, a perfect sunny day, for example. Contracting the pupil, cats are once again able to target prey without being distracted by the glare produced by the intimidating sun. Have you ever seen a cat chase a mouse in tall grass? Well, what happens at least more times than not? The cat wins. It's not all about speed, it's about pinpoint vision. Light control allows the cat to look on and not release. This means that the cat essentially becomes oblivious and unaffected by other objects within its vision path by locking in and locking on. Everything takes a backseat to the primary target. The vertical pupil is quite interesting as it allows for an incredible amount of coverage space. And as we stated from the top, cats have the eyes they need for the task of life. And that is certainly the case. So the next time your cat is wandering about, take a look at those pupils. Are they tiny? A bit of an almond shape? Fully round? My cats stay in the house, so I don't get the luxury of that classic look too often. House lighting is certainly not the same as a sunny day in the great outdoors. My cats sport that almond look most of the time. And speaking of time, it's story time. Do your cats have somewhat of a perpetual pupil appearance? Or are they constantly exposed to different environments where you are able to see these cool changes? Please let me know in the comments section below. And oh yeah, those cat eye marbles I spoke of earlier. Did you ever shop for those as a child, or was it just me? Hmm. <laughs> and once again, before I head on out, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.